Hello and welcome back to the Parenting Burrito, formerly known as Parent Talk. This is a podcast that wraps up parenting, lifestyle, all into one place. We talk about the real struggles, the real fails, and the real happiness that we all experience as a parent. There's one thing that I want you to take from this podcast. It is knowing that you are not alone in your feelings, actions, emotions, that we are not perfect and there's no need to pretend to be. I'm your host, Alexandria, and I'm so glad that you've joined me today. So let's start off with an affirmation. So say this affirmation out loud and breathe in and breathe out and feel this affirmation, okay? So today's affirmation is, I am strong and can get through anything. So let's say it again. I am strong and I can get through anything. Perfect. All right, so today's topic is the struggle of affection. I did not grow up with the most affectionate parents. Um, In fact, um, I remember my mom not being in the healthiest relationships like a majority of my early childhood and I had to live um, with my dad and my stepmom who now have a very strong relationship but back then um, it was rocky and rough and I experienced that from both of my parents Um, you know and I feel like a lot of the aggravation from those relationships that we're in um, were reflected onto me as a child. And, you know, life happens in cycles. And so um, when I first became a parent, I feel like that's kind of how I parented and probably why I've I've always struggled with relationships um, outside of being a parent. But Affection has been very awkward and uncomfortable for me. And I and I do, yes, want to blame it on how I was raised. But I am still an adult and I still have to take responsibility and kind of teach myself how to be affection, affectionate and to step out of my comfort zone and show my kids the affection that they desire and crave and that they constantly want me to have for them. Um, It is, again, very uncomfortable for me and I don't know if anyone else feels that way, Um, but I want to be honest, affection isn't something that comes easy. And, you know, I think talking about struggles and people relating to your struggles helps us all get through them as a whole, um, as one party, one group of people, because we're not all perfect. We don't have perfect backgrounds. We don't have perfect families. Um, we didn't grow up in the perfect environment. And anyone who says that they did, there's there's no way. <laughs> there's no way that your whole childhood was perfect. Do you think you might have perfect moments that you remember? Um, but there's no way. We all have childhood trauma um, or trauma in general, and we it's just different for everyone. It's different levels, it's different depths, it's different. But back to affection. So it's a struggle for me to be affectionate, um, you know, and and I would say my kid, you know, my kids are seven seven and eight and it has taken me that long to really grasp the idea of affection um, because I was clearly doing it wrong in my personal relationships outside of being a parent Um, you know for 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 that for me was sex Um, and that's sex can be affectionate but it's not it's not affection, 
you know, that's not showing affection. Um, what really did it for me is my kids. Um, snuggling or cuddling as uh, I've always hated doing it and you know my kids have been recently just asking for a lot more snuggles every night and I just internally roll my eyes and sigh really loud because it's uncomfortable and I don't want to do it um, but now that we've been doing it every night it, it kind of lets me like I, it it gives me and whatever kid I'm snuggling with at the moment our own personal time to kind of talk and show love for each other. And I never realized that I was missing out on that. Like, affection is awesome. It's great to be able to to show your love without having to do something for someone or having to give someone something to show them that you love. Like, this is straight just you being in the moment with someone that you love, like truly love or feel some type of way about. And I, I encourage everyone to step out of their comfort zone and, and kind of get into that affection a little more. Push yourself out of that comfort zone and, and sigh internally or after but the more we can get ourselves uncomfortable, the more comfortable we'll be with a lot more things. So that's all I have for today. So remember, Inspo Family is a place where families grow. So grow through kindness because kindness matters and so do you. Also, for more great content, please visit InspoFamily.com. Thank you for listening.